2013 was a pretty good year for gaming, especially for indie titles. A lot of new developers got their games out there, and the community of indie games grew even bigger. But now we're far enough into 2014 that everyone's gotten used to writing the current year on everything instead of 2013, so it's time that we start focusing on the future. I'm Snowman, and this is my top 5 anticipated games of 2014. Now I don't know for sure that every title on this list will be released this year, but I certainly hope that they will be. Let's just dive right in, shall we? Number 5, The Witness. The Witness is the latest venture from indie dev Jonathan Blow, the creator of the complex puzzle platformer Braid. The main reason this is only number 5 on my list is that I don't really know much of anything about this game other than there's exploration and lots of puzzles. Now with Braid setting the precedent for Blow's games, I'm definitely expecting these puzzles to get really complex and there probably will be a lot of depth and secrets in this game too. He definitely set his standards high after Braid, but I'm sure he will deliver with The Witness. Number 4, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now I'm a big fan of The Binding of Isaac, even if I suck at it, but it has been out for a while now, and so a complete rehaul might do some very good stuff for the game. Much like The Witness, we don't know a whole lot about the new additions in Rebirth, but we are starting to get little sneak previews from Edmund McMillan every once in a while, in the form of gifts and music tracks. Anything is better than that super creepy trailer for it. I'm sure there will be a whole new set of things to unlock and collect, and will keep the Binding of Isaac fresh for years to come. Number 3, A Hat in Time. I actually didn't hear about this game until after its Kickstarter ended, and I was sad I missed it because this game looks amazing. It pays homage to collect-a-thon games from back in the day, such as Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, and lots of others that were popular around that time. A Hat in Time wants to hit you right in the nostalgia, while also providing a funny storyline, beautiful visuals, and addicting gameplay. As you can decipher from the title, the hat this little girl wears has something to do with time travel, but I just can't wait to see what this game's final state looks like. With an estimated release date of quarter 2, 2014, I'm getting very excited to try this game out. Number 2, Dark Souls 2. Now of course I love Dark Souls, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and that's saying something because it's so new compared to all the games I've ever played, but man am I hyped for Dark Souls 2. From what I've seen so far, it doesn't look like it's deviated from the first game too much, and that's a good thing. I would love to play through the same style of game with new enemies, bosses, and worlds to explore. Dark Souls hits the balance between difficulty and fun perfectly, and I can't wait to play through this new adventure. And number one, Shovel Knight. It's hard to believe something could beat out the sequel to Dark Souls, but Shovel Knight has captured my attention fully ever since it showed up on my radar. I've kickstarted this game and have followed the progress all the way from the beginning. They finally announced a release date at the end of March, and this has only gotten me more excited. It looks and feels like Mega Man, but with the added gameplay mechanics from DuckTales. This game seems to hit old school graphics with new design elements perfectly. Lots of hidden secrets mixed with varying bosses and enemies makes for a fun experience all the way through. This is by far the game I am looking forward to most in 2014. Now of course this list is just my opinion, but I'd like to hear yours as well. Put your most anticipated games of 2014 in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, a like and a favorite goes a long way. You could also subscribe for all sorts of other gaming content on my channel. Check out these other videos while you're here. I'm Snowman, and I'll see you guys later.